Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D can in Blender. Let's get started. First, add a reference image and rotate it so it's oriented to the side of the workspace. Move it back a little and set the opacity to 1 point, sorry, to 0 0.3. Next, add in a cylinder and switch to wireframe view. Scale it to match the can's diameter. Use E plus C to extrude and use S to scale the edges until the cylinder matches the shape. Press Ctrl B to bevel the edges and repeat this process for the bottom of the can. If you all click an edge, you can select the ring around the can. This will make it easier for beveling. Ctrl B to bevel and use the insert tool to shape the bottom of the can as well. For the top of the cane, we will use a reference image to determine the depth of the insert. Add a subdivision surface modifier and crease the edges like this. Add the reference image on top of the cane. You can scale it down and place it in front and lower the opacity as well. Move the hole in and extrude it down. Now add a plane for the tab on the top and use Ctrl R to add more edges and adjust it to fit the proportions of the tab. You can also make the holes by deleting the faces and also remember to make the small part in the middle where the tab sits on the can. Add a subdivision and solidify modifier, increase the edges like this. Adjust the thickness if you need to. Once you're happy with the shape, hide the reference image and let's move on. Now let's work on the materials. We'll start by creating the aluminium texture and later we'll apply the color on top. To do this, we need to deform a noise texture and plug it into the roughness. Next, we'll unwrap the can so we can apply the texture. Mark the seams as I do and make sure to choose a line in the middle to split the label. Press U and choose Unwrap and add the image texture as a material. Here's the final note tree if you want to copy it. Now go into the UV editor and adjust the picture. Set the image texture to clip and move the aluminium part away from the picture to make the alpha channel affect them. And that's it. Now you've made a 3D can and blender. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. I'll see you next time.